I am a wardrobe stylist, your wardrobe stylist. <laughs> I help you unclutter your closet and style your authentic life. I still have glitter on me from this morning's DIY scope. <laughs> hey, Melissa. Hey, Tanya. How are you guys doing today? Hey, Marche. Hey, small pretty lady. Hey, all my peeps are here. Yay. So, we were talking a little bit last night, hey, Andrea, about our um, Oprah, because, you know, she she's like the mom.com, right? So, I got to thinking about mentorship and how Oprah's been my mentor, even though I've never met her. <laughs> and I just wanted to talk to everyone about why you should have a mentor, even if you've never met them. Hey, Kita, what's up? Hey, Tiffany. How's everybody doing today? It's, it's uh, hump day. Get happy, right? Get happy, it's home day. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tiffany. Hey, boss man. Hey, facade. So, my number one reason why you should have a mentor is they inspire you. Not good. Oh, no. Um, Oprah's been inspiring me since the color purple. Like, I loved her in that role. I was watching the Oprah Winfrey show from way back when. My mother used to watch it. Or did or still watch it until the day it went off and I remember sometime in 2000 or the yeah I think it was 2000 early 2000 yeah I'm good <laughs> um, I went to her live your best life tour it was the first time she did this it was at the Baltimore Marriott it was a brand new hotel and I was seven rows back from where she was sitting and it was just so amazing to hear her talk about her story and how she started as a newscaster well, I don't want yours, so go away, Sarkana. Peace out. Um, <laughs> and it was just so amazing to hear her talk about her <laughs> about her story. And, um, I mean, it was just amazing and, and how she just talked about her whole life and how everything had happened to her. And it was amazing. And so then, a few years after that, I think I told you guys this last night, some of you were on the chatty party. And how someone named Katrina called me. She, We were connected on LinkedIn. And she said that God told her to call me because she had a dream that she saw me on the Oprah show. And I was like, really? <laughs> like, that was so cool. Um, so, you know, I'd, I'd always kept that in my head. It didn't happen yet, let's just say. And it was so cool. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Yay! I love the hearts. They're so pretty. Um... And then the Oprah show ended, and I was like, oh, no! <laughs> I didn't make it on! And then, yes, exactly. And then a few months ago, she told me again, like, don't forget, don't forget, keep believing. I was like, really? You know? And then when she started the OWN Network, I was really cool. Um, so I was really excited, rather. Um, so number two, they've been where you are. So Oprah is totally relatable. When she talks about her story about how she was born in Mississippi, like a place that they didn't even have a regard for black people's humanity, didn't even think you were human. And then she came from, hey, Rio. And then she came, you know, from all of that. It was just like, and to where she is now, like she would have no concept of, um, you know, <laughs> she would have ended up where she did and been able to teach and inspire as many people as she did. So it was interesting because a couple of years back I had the TV on and I never had the TV on. Like you see my, you can hear my TV's not even on. I have music on. And the master class popped up. Hey, Sean. Uh, I was, it was on, it just happened to be on the own network. And then the master class popped on. I'd never watched any of the other ones. No, I don't want any. Go away, boo boo. And, uh, <laughs> And so, um, it, she started talking about, thank you, Lori. I love your picture. I love that hat. I know, right, Keita? What the heck is wrong with people? Freaking Tourette's. So, anyway, um, you know, she's been where we are. Like, didn't know what was happening when, when she was on the channel and they told her she needed to go get her hair done and change, like, all the stuff that they told her to do. And she was just like, what? You know, <laughs> and change her name. Like, so many things. And she was like, no, I'm not changing my name. Um, not that I've ever had anybody ask me that. But anyway, so I was watching the master class and I was so inspired by it because she talked even further about um, all the things and the verse that she loves. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like, that's my favorite verse besides the Jeremiah 29. So... I don't know how to take that, but thank you. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, relatable, right? Mentors are relatable. 
And number three, they motivate you to keep going. So look at Oprah. Like she was, she started on the channel. I think it was whatever it was. People are talking. And then she ended up, you know, on her own Oprah show after the color purple. And then after uh, she, um, exactly. And then she, when she stopped the Oprah show, then she went with the own network. Yes, it's one of my favorite verses. And, like, she just keeps going. Like, it's not like, oh, she could have stopped. I mean, she's like one of the richest women in the world. She could have stopped and been like, oh, that's enough. I've done enough. But she keeps going. And even though she had some issues with OWN when it first started, she kept plugging. She kept going through. And now it's like a huge thing. It's so great for her. So that's why I think you need to have um, mentors, even if you've never met them. So Oprah, I would love to meet you one day. <laughs> I would love for you to be my re for real, for real mentor. Like, uh, that would be so amazing. I think I would, like, pee my pants if she called me and, and was like, hello. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Ashton, how are you? Um, so yeah, so those are my three reasons why I think you should have a mentor, <laughs> even if you've never met them. They inspire you, they've been where you are, they're relatable. Bye bye. I don't know what's. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean it. I blocked the wrong person. <laughs> Sorry, Ash, it all unblock you. Oh my god. And so, yeah, um, that, sorry, that threw me off. <laughs> yeah, that really would be big. Like, I would just flip out. I would flip out if that happened. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> um, and they meant, they motivate you. They motivate you to keep going, you know, because you could have some setbacks and then they just discourage you and you'd be like, oh my God, I can't keep going. Like, what the heck? Like, I'm so, I just don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, you missed the DIY. Yeah, it was quick. It was quick. I saw you on uh, on Nicole's. I just had to go off because it was like too much going on. I was like, I need to go before I go to work. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anybody have any questions or any other comments or any people you think you would want to have as your mentor? I'd love to hear which, who you guys' mentors would be. Sorry, I got to tell Ashton I didn't <laughs> mean to block him. <laughs> I'm good for blocking people accidentally. Because that stupid thing goes by, goes by so fast. Anybody else have any mentors they would love? Um, yeah. So anybody else have any cool mentors that they would love to share? And for the same reasons I do, right? They ins they're inspiring, they've been where you are, they're relatable, and they motivate you. Aw, thanks, Kita. <laughs> I really like that. That's really nice of you to say. Sam Fine is a great makeup artist. I did meet him once. He had he did um, a class here in D.C. It was at one of the, ho I think it was at the W or the Westin Hotel he was there. I remember that. Yeah. He was cool. He was a nice guy. I forgot about that. That's been a minute. But yeah, I met him. <laughs> He's really cool. Um makeup artist that I like. I can't think of anybody else. What's the one guy who died? I can't remember his name. Kevin Alquan. I would have loved to meet him. I think that would be really cool. Hey, Tracy. We were just talking about mentors and I was saying that I would love to have Oprah as my mentor. Hey, Melly. Because, well, she's been my mentor, really. I mean, it. you know, it, she's just been a light that has led me through a lot of things in my life and she doesn't even know it, right? <laughs> A lot of y'all who are like, oh, I know. It's so funny when everybody scopes at the same time. You're like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> sometimes you just got to be like, forget it. Whoever's, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I like, I like the fact that Nicole is not too far from me, so I can, I could get to her if I needed to, like, if we need to chat or, you know, hang out or do something. Um, Shalene is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh, you did tell her. Cool. I would love... I didn't see her scope today. Yes. And I wanted to get back on her Live Your Best Life tour, but I haven't been able to do it. Like, I, I don't know. It just didn't work. Yeah, I did start following her. I don't know if she scoped today or not. My thing was... My tweeter thing was going off all day, but I didn't, um... I was doing stuff, so I didn't jump... I didn't even know if she scoped or not, actually. <laughs> I didn't see it. You know how like, you see all the lists after you go back on your phone? <laughs> I was like 20 people later. 
So I try to, my people I follow, and I keep my notifications on for you guys, but there's some people I follow and I don't have notifications on because they just scope too dang much and, and, and not about anything. So it's like, what the heck? Like, we have to live, you know? <laughs> hey, Anthony. Thanks for joining. Yes, thanks so much. Thanks for uh, joining. I had a great conversation with Felicia this morning, and we were on, what were we on? We were on scope this morning. I was about to say blab, but no, we weren't on blab. <laughs> we were on scope. So, yeah. Yeah, I try to get on at least once, sometimes twice if I know I have to go, if I'm going to be gone. Like, tomorrow I'm going to go to a um, Congressional Black Caucus event on a rooftop, so I'll definitely be scoping that. Oh, yay, that was so cool. You just downloaded a blab. Cool, because I have a blab on Monday coming up, too. But you guys are my peeps. Oh, is he back in there? <laughs> I can't see him because I have to end the scope so I can see him. But yay, tell him I'm sorry. I unblocked him. Uh, that, I hate it when that happens. Uh, yeah, I was trying to block a friggin' troll who was like, sex! <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with people and their retardedness? Like, give me a break. You don't, you would not walk into a room yelling at sex! Or open boobs! Open bobs! Like, you wouldn't do that. So why do you think it's okay here? I don't understand the logic of that. Like, it's just retarded. <laughs> Show boobs! Sex! You know, give me some! Like, really, dude? Come on now. <laughs> I'd be looking at it like, really, dude? Really? Like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing with your life? You need to go away. Go away. Just go away. <laughs> Fade into the background. Watch, y'all. You can't say it. You're going to get a little notifications. <laughs> You can't say that. Yeah. Well, it's funny because uh, I guess Ashton can see me again. So sorry, Ashton. I didn't mean to block you. Sorry. I've done that so many times trying to block stupid creep people. Like I blocked um, Greg Namaste Man. <laughs> I blocked him one time and I blocked somebody. And I always have to go back and unblock um, you because. But and when I, I have to start a new scope to be able to see you again. <laughs> Andre, it's not that they don't know how to spell. Open Bobs is like. The t hey, Edmong. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was trying to block a stupid troll. And like most of them, sometimes I'll give them one chance and I'll be like, really, dude? Just go away. Really? Really? And then they'll go away. But then they just keep saying it. Like one guy kept going, sex. He said, sex, please. I said, no, I'm not giving you any. And he was like, okay. And then he was like, please, sexy. And I just wasn't paying him any mind. So he left. But like some of the other dodo birds, they just keep going. And it's like, shut up. <laughs> like nobody's going to give you sex. And if you did, you would probably freak out. You'd probably freak out if somebody was like, eh, you know, <laughs> you probably lose your damn mind. Like, give me a break. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But whatever, you know. It is what it is. Dr. Sims, hey! I know. Like, that's what he was saying. I was like, what is wrong with this fool? Like, give me a break. Everybody follow Ebong. He's our business guru. And Dr. Sims is our uh, pastor of First Church of Periscope. Yeah, that would be some awkward... In Anyway, Andre, that's what I was telling you. So, with the... um open bobs thing it's trend it's the translation for open boobs but that's turkish they say open bobs so that's what it means it's not that they can't spell some of them do say open boobs but most of them say open bobs <laughs> like paja said she was like who's bob like what are you talking about <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you so yeah i don't know what's wrong with people i don't really care i'm not your therapist and i'm not here for that so whatever go troll somebody else <laughs> Yeah, no, they don't ever ask you that. It's just that one guy that was in your scope that was talking about he was an atheist or something crazy. Like, that was the only guy I've seen that acted a little wild. And you were patient with him before you blocked him for a while. Because <laughs> he was going on about something. I was like, hmm, alrighty. Anyways. <laughs> well, I'm so glad all of you popped in. Uh, you know what would really, what, like freak me out if one day I was sitting here talking and we happen to be talking about Oprah like when Dr. Sims and Kim Rock popped into the chatty party one night what if Oprah popped into the scope like would would everybody just die if she jumped in the scope like that would be insane like she should just start doing that just popping in random people's scopes and seeing what happens <laughs> like people would just lose their freaking minds you know what I'm saying just flip out right <laughs> Oh, and so we had, for those of you who didn't, weren't on the last couple nights, we created a Facebook chatty party, right, with Die. 
you'd be alarmed. Um, we created a Facebook chatty party um, group, so just go on Facebook and search for chatty party. Boom, you can get in. I'll um, unlock it for you. Hey, Rodney. I know. Like, would you die? You would just die. All of us would be like, <laughs> this is fade, fade to black, done. <laughs> so yeah, that would just be the the best thing ever. You remember me now? Oh, yeah. Hey, Gio. Yeah, I'm boycotting Kevin's music parties because he... <laughs> so, I know, passed out cold. <laughs> I'm boycotting the party now. Because hmm. everybody was mad at me because I, I kept figuring everything out. Oh, my God. I would not block Oprah Evong. Like, I would keep my hands off of the phone screen if Oprah jumped in there. I'd be like, Oprah? Is that you? Oprah? <laughs> Like, I would flip out. It would be, like, the craziest thing. I would, I don't know what I would do with myself. <laughs> because, like, when Kim's thing popped up one night, it was her son. You get a block, you get a block. <laughs> it would be so funny, right? Like, yeah, I would love it. You think would ho my friend would host a meetup Saturday night? Which friend, um, Walter? <laughs> yeah, I would lose my I would lose my ish if Oprah jumped in my scope. I would literally because last night every time somebody asked about somebody when somebody asked about pa Paja, I don't know. I have to ask her. Um, Rodney, did you jump into our chatty party Facebook group? Um, what was I saying now? Oh yeah, I have to ask her. I have to see. Um, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I forgot what the heck I was saying now. I got all distracted. <laughs> hey, Jojo. What's up? I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, Oprah's the bomb. That's all we can say. <laughs> Did anybody remember what I was? I was on a train of thought and I just lost it. <laughs> it just whew, went away. So messed up. Oh, right. Thank you, Courtney. We have a chatty party Facebook group now, so you can go in and... Type in chatty party and you can join the group. So yeah, every time someone mentioned somebody last night, somebody mentioned Peja and then she came in right after. Somebody mentioned Ben and literally like 30 seconds after they said it, he popped in. And then somebody mentioned Sucker and then he came in. So I was like, maybe we could just all talk about Oprah and then Oprah will pop in. <laughs> I literally would be, I would die. I would be dead right here. I'd be like, oh my God. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> yeah. Her masterclass is the bomb, y'all. If y'all haven't seen it, you have to watch it. And the funny thing about it was I had never watched any of her other ones. You, Oh, cool. Um, I know, right? If, uh, I forgot what I was saying again. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Yeah, my friend did the Ah Ring, and that was in Oprah's magazine. It's a little pinky ring. It's really cute. I know, hashtag on all my scopes. <laughs> Right. If I if you see me laid out, you know you know exactly what happened. <laughs> You'd be like, Oh, Oprah came in, that's how that went. <laughs> oh, yes, I loved her masterclass. I had never watched any of the other ones she had before that with Courtney, you're on it. Like you you're paying attention. Um like she had Sydney Portier, Maya Angelou, um, a couple other people. I had never seen it. And then it was one o'clock in the morning and I popped in I mean the TV had just happened to be on and there she was and it was a two hour master class of her talking if you haven't seen it you have to watch it it's like life changing it's like sitting in a seminar with her for two hours and you're just being so inspired like it's so crazy so yeah oh yeah she was on there too sorry I didn't see anybody else but I saw Oprah's and that was it for me I was like good hey Keith mm. Queen Angie, what's going on? Simone, what's up? Y'all can chop for a second. I gotta, I'll be right back. <laughs>
Sorry, y'all. I had to get dressed for work. <laughs> I love how y'all are just having, carrying on a conversation. <laughs> yeah. I'm a citizen of the world, y'all. I've actually applied for my citizen of the world status, too, with the world uh, service order. Amazing! Hey, beautiful tea. What's up? Yeah, and if you haven't joined our chatty party group yet, you gotta join, y'all. Hey, queen! Yes, it is more than okay for you to share your phone cases in there. I have no problem with that. I'm great! I'm much better than the other night. <laughs> I'm better. Hey, Sunny Chrissy, what's up? You are so cute. I just was loving you in your scope. <laughs> and I love that you said, because... Thank you for asking. Um, I love that you said, oh, this is what I like to wear, but if it doesn't re you know, resonate with you, then don't do it. Because I see a lot of people you know, tell you, oh, this should go with this, and that should go with that. And you're thinking like, ew, no. <laughs> Not that I said that about yours. But that, you know, that's what, you know, I saw someone else scoping about this print with, um, me and Felicia were talking about it earlier. And a, uh, like a, whatever print. Some other kind of weird print. And I'm like, why would you know? <laughs> Like, I just can't. I can't do it. Like, that's too much. We ain't doing that here. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just too much. <laughs> so I, I just had to laugh about that. Yeah, and it was funny because even somebody else in the scope was like, really? You would really put that together? Like, no. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm right here with you, girlfriend. Not doing that. <laughs> I love a, a, li a leopard print, not a leopard print, but like, you know, an animal print, but I'm not wearing it with a, another print, another whatever. I wear it with a solid, but I'm not wearing it with a print. Okay, I'll jump in there before I go and, um, well, actually, I can do it on my phone. I'll do it on my phone when I get to work. So, but, and Paige is not here. Queen, you can pick up the chatty party. Everybody follow Queen, and if y'all want to keep, keep chatting, because I got to go to work. Yeah, I loved the leopard. My my day was pretty good. I was just sort of around the house a lot, getting some stuff done. Um, yeah, it's just like, what? No, she had like stripes or some weird, print, like other design with the animal print, the leopard print. I was like... <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Like, no. Thanks for the suggestion, but no. <laughs> that's not going down. <laughs> Yeah, everybody follow Queen. Hey, writer in Florida. You're braiding your hair. Um, so if you want to continue the chatty party, please feel free and follow Queen. And tell Ashen I'm sorry again if he's still here because I didn't mean to block him. It was not personal. I, I hit him up on Twitter to let him know. <laughs> oh, half your hair is undone. Okay. All right, well, maybe I will. F hey, Brenda. Maybe I will do a little chatty party later on. Hi, Style Modesty. And, you know, we'll continue it from there. But for right now, I got to get to work. <laughs> so they don't be like, you're late. Because I always am. I'm always late. I'm always at least five to ten minutes late for everywhere I go. It's just because this is how it is. <laughs> High style modesty. So yes, thank you for joining. And my three tips for why you should have a mentor, even if you never met them, they inspire you, they've been where you are, and they motivate you. See y'all later. Love you. Ciao.